Hello, Bill. This is Bear from Wave, and uh, today, as promised, uh, we're gonna take a look at Bitcoin. We're gonna start with a weekly, uh, take a look at volume, and a few other things, and uh, and yeah, and then we'll dive into it. Uh, no chip talk today. Um, if any of you stop move moving my charts and uh, go straight into it, I heard um, or read. I read. Um, I don't know why that is here. I read a uh, micro strategy. So micro sailor uh, bought uh, a 1. 1.1 billion worth of Bitcoin. Um, yeah, uh, not sh sh should have been 1.1 billion. Uh, but uh, what I remember was, uh, I should be correct, but I remember it was a, a pretty significant amount. Now, um, some of you, maybe many of you, uh, maybe wondering, do we have a bot uh, bottom in, in place right there at 33,000? You already know my answer. If I knew, I wouldn't be here, but we'll try to investigate that. Now, uh, as I said, let's look at volume. So today is Saturday, so we still have, uh, let's say, one day and a half. Um, let's see how it's going to close. We broke last week high, which is good. So we make a, we made a higher high. Um, compared to last week and no lower lows. Um, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna see. Uh, my best guess is that we do not have a bottom in place, but we're gonna investigate that in just a few minutes. And um, averages will stand right there among between the 20 and the 50 EMA, as you can see. And then if we look at numbers, well, as I said, until 65 provides tested support, there's no reason to be bullish. I've said in the previous videos, it's good that we are, you know, we found support on top of 50, but until 65, and it, it doesn't need to do it like on the weekly scale, it can do it on a smaller a scale, um, like in the daily. Um, so if we can see some sort of a pattern on 65 on the daily, uh, something like this on the daily, then it's starting to get interesting. Until then, as, as I said, um, I see no reason to be bullish. Now, um, uh, I went over my long-term counts in uh, an older video. Can this count be correct? Yes. Can it be wrong? Yes. Um, do I have alternates? Yes. Um, if you go back and look at uh, older videos, you should be able to find uh, different alternates. But for the sake of this video, as well as future ones until I'm proven wrong, we are going to assume we have a bottom in place here in wave four. Now, straight into the daily. So as I said, bottom in place here, whether that's right or wrong, uh, that's obviously, they obviously need to move my waves. As you already know, I love when that happens. Um, okay, so let's see. Nope. Uh, primary one done. Okay, so I had this count from last week. ABC, ABC, one, two. Is this still valid? Oh, actually, I need to investigate that. Um, we need to investigate on that wave one. Um, so let's keep that on standby. Okay, so some of you may be wondering, is this valid? Okay, this right here. And this uh, would, need, would be... Oh God! So let's do this. Let's hide this on the day weekly daily. Yeah, I don't like when. Sorry about that, but it's that's why you get for uh, being lazy. Okay, and this would be minor. Okay, so some of you may be wondering, okay, do we have a bottom in place of some sort, whether there's a wave four or a wave two? Um, and is the bottom in place here? Are we moving higher? Have we had a one, two, are we moving higher? My best guess is no, we're gonna investigate on the intraday, but I don't see that. Why, why is that so? Well, As I said last time, I see three. Three here. Now you may say, oh, well, Barrett, 
for wave one is here. Yes, but even on the daily, which obviously if I do have a case for a five wave here, but on the daily, you would immediately say it's a three wave move here. Now, as I said, if we zoom in, you could squeeze five waves in there. It's possible. But if you look at it like this, you would say immediately it's, it's three. Now you may say, oh, do we have one, two, three, four, five? Huh, maybe. Uh, so it, there's a case for it. I will remain bearish um, until proven wrong, which it might prove me wrong. Data, uh, economic data seems to be promising, um, as well as, you know, we can see that on the stock market already. Um, but yeah, we're, we're going to investigate um, soon as we get into the intraday. Uh, okay, so that's one thing we also need to investigate on the intraday, as well as this one. And what I'm thinking is, what if we have maybe a wave one? Somewhere here, two, oopsie, two, and here, what if, as I mentioned a few times back, a nice triangle. Those who know me know I'm a fan of triangles. So invalidation would be right here, obviously. That will be invalidation for the triangle. You'd have your A, B, C, D, and E. And there stands validation. So let's actually put it in here. Okay. How does that look? Not too bad to me, to be fair, you know, push down here, boom, possible. Why not? Um, yeah, I don't mind the scenario. Uh, now, as I promised, let's go on to the one hour chart. And let's try to analyze a few the, 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 the account. So let's get started with this one. Can we still have a wave one in here? So if this was a leading diagonal. Should we have one, two, uh, three? Do we put four in here? I guess uh, is three shorter than one? Yes. Five is clearly shorter than three. So, yeah, still possible. One done. Okay. So it is still possible. One, two. Um, it, it Usually, if, if this was a diagonal, you usually get, in this case, resistance where the wave two of the diagonal is. So right here, 61,000. So it's going to be interesting to watch. Do we have volume right there? A bit of it. Do I have the fixed volume profile? Fixed range volume profile. Yeah. Point of control is around here. So we'll see. Um, that's usually what happens. Now you may ask, okay, Barrett, uh, can you can count three here? It's a good question. So let's see. I see whether that is A, B, C, W, X, Y, because I see. Three, one, two, could that be a wave? No, equality stands right there. Ooh, what happened? Oh yeah, oh, yes, remove. Uh, one, two, A, B. Guess it would need to be a comp, oh, sorry, A. Some sort of a flat. Now, if this was a wave C, mm, uh, 
one, two, one, two, three, four, five, three, four. Maybe a bit more upside as where is wave two? Yeah, as expected. Let's see. Where is equality of potential C against A? 61.3. Okay, so I will look for this area right here. Yeah, we do have some. I expect for it. if if we were to crash, I mean, fall back down. I would look for this place right here. Roughly, it's the one that makes the most sense. Primary one down. Oh, should I just? Yeah, I'll just leave it. Uh, okay, I'll just leave it there. Um, yeah, that's my best guess for this scenario. Um, and uh, okay, so if if we were to call a nope, and by the way, by the way, you could argue obviously you know, three and C, you could squeeze some sort of way through a three waves moving here. I'm sure three down. You could also do that for the record. Oopsie, too much. Okay, now. The bullish case. So, all right. So, um, um, so everything but these ones should be moved one degree higher. I won't do it because I'll waste too much time already. But note, everything needs to be moved one degree higher. Uh, so, as I said, you could squeeze five ways in there. Like this, one, two, three, four, five. If you wanted to, um, I guess you could. Um, B, C, D, e. Oh God. Um. Well. Um. Awkward silence. I'm thinking, uh, uh, yeah, it reminds me of my uh, dating situation. So I'm thinking, could you get a one, two, three, some sort of a way four, four, five? Is it possible? I guess you could. But at this point, this would be a three with move. I know. I'd rather stick to this to be fair. Some this sort of a flat A B C. Now at this point, if you were to count this as impulsive, how would you count it? Good question. One, two. It's not easy, is it? Nah. One, two, three, four, I guess. One, two, three. Mm. I mean, I'm not a, f a fan of truncated fifths. Just so you know. So this could be highly unlikely. And then here, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. I mean, could work. I I just rather see it as a three wave move. So, <laughs> summing up, um, I would watch for our area of interest, which was approximately this one around sixty two ish. See what happens there. If it fails, there's a good chance we're going down. If it doesn't, and it breaks higher, then it's going to be interesting. Um, but yeah, overall, as we've been moving sideways for so long, you know, call a bottom here. You could try to call a bottom here. You could try to call a bottom here. Uh, it's you know at this point I stop playing the guessing game. If I want to be bullish. 
I need 65 as support. That's the support. Um, so if we eventually get, you know, one of three pullback upside, then I'll be happy to be bullish. If not, um, I will remain bearish. I will not call a bottom, uh, bottom in place. And I'll see what happens uh, by the day. So that's going to be it. As usual, if you want to stay updated, I recommend you, you subscribe. And it really helps out. We're almost at 2,500 subs, which is very nice. Uh, I just need the views now. Uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.